I'm here on the quayside at Torrey Marine Base on the final day of National Apprenticeship Week, which has been a fantastic collaboration between Peterson and SDS Scotland and a number of other um, organisations. I'm here today with Stuart White, a director at Peterson's, and Andrew Much, one of the apprentices from 8020, a Peterson Group company. Stuart, tell me a little bit about why Peterson felt this was a great event to collaborate with Skills Development Scotland on. Sure, our experience of working with apprentices uh, over the years has been extremely successful. It continues to be a strong part of our history, our present and our future, and, and we're very keen to support it and encourage more young people into the industry. I mean, the future workforce is such an integral part of the transition going forward. How important are apprenticeships to building that? Well, we need people who are going to bring new ideas to the company, people with different backgrounds. And, and the breadth of our business now means that we can give um, apprentices a really great experience across a, a wide range of disciplines. What you see here on the key side is only one part of what we do as an organisation. That's very true. There's a lot of other roles in the company. That's maybe something you can tell us a bit more about, Andrew. How have you found your apprenticeship so far? Yeah, so we've had a really busy week. Um, I went to a few schools basically spoke about my apprenticeship, how I found it, uh, mentioned that it was a great alternative to university and college. You're getting on the job experience, earning a qualification and of course a wage with that, um, which I feel a lot of school kids maybe don't really know about or more so that the parents don't know that a great opportunity like this exists. I think that's probably true. Do you think the hands-on experience that you've had um, as an apprentice and certainly the experience you've had in bringing on other apprentices this week is an important part of learning and should be looked at as an alternative to university? Absolutely. I mean, this is just the start of, you know, a whole career ahead of me. So I've got a lot to look forward to, a lot to um, just gain. I'm working with professionals every day. I'm learning off of them. This is a, a great foundation for a, a career. And how successful has your apprenticeship programme been to date? Well, we've seen a few of the apprentices today uh, as we've gone round. Uh, one in our, our freight management team who's, who came in as an apprentice in 2013 has worked across a number of the different departments and has now found himself in a senior role in our freight management team. Um, and we also have Ryan who's here today, one of our more recent apprentices. And Ryan again has been around all the different departments in the organisation and found his home now as well in our health and safety team. Um, so that's one of the things that's really important for us is that when you come in as a 16, 17 or 18 year old, you don't really know what you want to do. So giving them a structured programme and an opportunity to see a lot of different things usually means that, that everybody finds the, the right home for them, the skills and the experience that they want to get. And it's worked out really well for us as well. And that's fantastic to hear. Um, I know that Skills Development Scotland have put a lot of work and effort into National Apprenticeship Week this year and you know, thank you for coming on board with them. What advice would you give to other employers that are thinking about doing a collaboration with them for this type of an event? Absolutely embrace it. It's great. You get out, you get to the opportunity to explain exactly what your company does, the types of skills that you need. You get to engage with young people who maybe have a certain perception of what the industry is all about. It's very different and we need new people to come in and challenge the, the current ways of working and bring new thinking to us. So it's a great opportunity to identify that new young talent for the future and, and hopefully get a chance to showcase all the different things that your company can bring to them. Well, thank you very much for taking part in what has been a great initiative. I think 200 pupils over the course of the week, is that correct? Yeah, the, the guys have done a really, really good job. Uh, and Andrew and Bradley and the team have been out around the schools, speaking to kids, telling them all about their apprenticeship and the opportunities. And, and we're so engaged and, and, and committed to this that we're going to be announcing another uh, raft of apprenticeships coming up soon. We've got four, four committed and, and we hope to do more over the course of the year. And where would people find out information if they were interested? Well, you can contact uh, Peterson uh, through our website. Um, there's careers and vacancies are, are always on there. Um, but just look us up in the, the phone book and give us a phone and find us, uh, find us that way as well. Fantastic. Well, I wish you all the best with that, Stuart. And I wish you all the best with the rest of your apprenticeship, Andrew. I'm sure we'll see you again in the future. And thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.